Welcome to this episode of IBM History with The Root User, where we look at some of the most iconic and influential technology of the past. Today, we are going to be talking about the IBM PS2 Model 30 286 computer. The 286 version of the Model 30 was a personal computer released by IBM in 1988. It was part of the IBM PS2 line of computers which was designed to replace the IBM PC and XT models. The 3286 was powered by an Intel 8286 processor, which ran at 10 megahertz. It had 512K of memory standard, expandable to four megabytes, a 1.44 megabyte floppy drive, and had an optional 20 to 40 megabyte hard drive. While most PS2 models featured IBM's microchannel architecture, which was designed to improve the speed and expandability of the computer, the 3286 model used a standard ISA architecture to keep costs down. The system came with a variety of ports, including a parallel port, a serial port, a keyboard, and a mouse port. It also had expansion slots for additional components, such as a sound card or a network card. The computer ran IBM DOS. IBM PC-DOS, an acronym for IBM Personal Computer Disk Operating System, was manufactured and sold by IBM from the early 1980s into the 2000s. IBM sold the computer without a monitor. IBM abandoned MCGA for the full VGA compatibility. As the VGA standard is fundamentally analog, IBM recommended users purchase their IBM PS2-styled VGA CRT monitors available either in monochrome or color picture tubes. It was a popular choice for businesses and organizations, but it was also used by individuals for home and personal use. Here's one of the games I would play originally on my IBM PS2, Space Quest 3 from Sierra Online. You can see the quality of the graphics that was possible from this computer, along with the sound that could be achieved with expansion cards and the Roland MT32 sound module. The IBM PS2 3286 may be a relic of the past, but it was a significant step forward in the development of personal computers. It was a powerful machine for its time and set the standard for future IBM and other personal computers. Thank you for watching. Join us for next time for another episode of IBM History with the Root User.